you're preparing for a quarterback, is it tougher for a mobile guy, a stationary guy, a guy that does both or all of the above? <laughs> well, you definitely, it's definitely concerning when you know you you watch uh, a bunch of clips where either scramble lanes appear or you're trying to play some sort of pattern match coverage, right, where you don't have a whole bunch of guys with eyes on the quarterback, and typically that leads to a lot of scramble yards, and so that's that's extremely concerning when you start developing a game plan for how you're gonna how you're gonna rush the quarterback and then also how you're gonna play coverage to try to deny routes, but you know, in doing that you gotta have some vision on the quarterback if he's able to escape. What did you think of the defensive performance at Arizona? Well it's early in the season, right? There's gonna be some good and bad. Obviously I uh, wasn't too happy about the way we started, but I was quite pleased with the way we picked it up after that. Have you given Buki a hard time about not finishing off that uh, return for touchdown? I guess he wasn't quite as confident in his speed as uh, he led us to believe. <laughs> you got your hands on the football a few times too, though. I mean, you know, how important is it in a game like this to be able to to bring change like that? Yeah, I think you know, probably going to any uh, any defensive meeting across the country, any any school, and probably the two things they're preaching are third downs and takeaways, right? And depending on which place you're at, probably you know, it's which one is emphasize more but yeah anytime you can get off the field on third down and you take the ball away create extra opportunities for your offense uh, you know I was tips and overthrows all the time usually a good thing for the defense that game against Florida State they had a lot of accept, a lot of success in the second half when they went a little bit more up tempo is that something you guys are, are preparing for a bit to see from them oh I'm, I think probably every offense in the country has the ability to go tempo you know when they want to just as a change up uh, you know I have no doubt in my mind if people scout us on film right they would think that probably Tempo maybe create some opportunities to, uh, you know, I don't want to say simplify the defense, right? But usually, offensive guys, offensive people think the high, higher tempo you go, the less intricate stuff they can signal in and get get communicated. And so, uh, I have no doubt we'll see some tempo. Yep. Is it hard to scout a guy like John Emery when he hasn't played in almost two years, but he's coming back for Saturday? Oh, he's you know high, highly rated recruit he was. You got there's plenty there's plenty of film on him. Mean, he's got over 100 carries uh, in his career, so. Uh, yeah, I think all of our guys know they got, they got quite the quite the tackling uh, challenge there. They got like Jane Daniels too. He's not an athlete playing quarterback. He's a quarterback that has some athleticism. Does that make him an even tougher thing to figure out when you've got a guy that can pass it as well as he does? Oh yeah, he's like I said, he got I mean, three-year starter at uh, Arizona State. Obviously, got a couple games here. I mean, there's there's plenty of, there's plenty of evidence on tape to to know that he can make all the throws and uh, he can pick apart secondaries and so. Yeah, combine that with the ability to uh, make explosive plays with his leg, and it's not exactly been a very uh, restful week for us on the defensive staff. You mentioned the tackling. Obviously, there was a, a few missed tackles there on their quarterback at, at Arizona. Um, I mean, is it as simple as just telling you guys to, to finish a play? Did you see anything that they were maybe doing wrong in, in those tackles? Oh, I think you know, anytime you got really good athletes with the ball in their hands and they're got a lot of space to maneuver, you know, and you're scrambling around that deep on some of those plays, you know. Uh, yeah, that's going to happen every now and then. I was, I was happy to see our relentless pursuit to stay after. How do you keep a team you know, focused on the team in front of them and not maybe the helmet sticker out there? Oh, I think some of that stuff is probably more more for articles and, and generated by you guys. I think when, you, you know, when, any, when you're a competitor and you go in on film and you start just watching, all right, these are the guys we got to cover, these are the schemes they run, these are what we're trying to do to you know, give them trouble. I think most guys, you just lock into the task at hand and you don't really get too caught up in, you know, the logo or the uniform, you know, what, what colors you're playing. Good.